everybody this is Chris from Style Harmony thank you for joining me today so this video is going to be about making some um, bookmarks as for one that we have here and the other is going to be making some magnets and we're going to use a very simple technique and this is a very nice idea to give some to some friends as a gift it can be t uh, a gift also for teachers at the end of the year or also this really hell uh, sells like cupcakes um, as for craft fairs so you can use all of these ideas if you want to and I will be putting the links of the items I found the flowers on on the internet in the description box below so with no further ado I'm going to tell you what you will need for this project so first if we're doing these uh, these one here which are the paper um, the bookmarks sorry we're going to use these paper clips very easy to find and I buy them in different colors and I match my flowers with these if you want to if you can't find these you can always buy just one color and change the flowers it doesn't matter you will be of course paper you will need um, sorry paper flowers so these one I didn't make them I just bought them uh, this color they were all like a creamy color I don't know if you can see that and then I colored them up so I call them I, I color them this way in a whole bunch like in a bouquet and I just use shimmer bottles I make my own spray paint because it's cheaper and it goes a very long way and I keep them in spray bottles I made all kinds of colors and I also have these one that were already this um, this color they're also made and these are lovely but I can't find them any longer but they're really nice and you just need to play with these and open up the flowers a little bit especially the small ones they come really curled in and you need to open them a lot so you will need this you will need hot glue you will also need um, some circles so I punch these out with some um, circle punches and in different sizes depending on your flower if it's a big one you will need a bigger circle but as I am going to use the small ones I am just using a smaller circle here so the size is totally up to you and um, that's gonna be it and we will be obviously needing some magnets for the other ones here so as for this we're gonna need some hot glue as I told you so I'm gonna get mine here okay let me get out of the glue and now we're gonna take if you're having these flowers like this you need to cut off all the tails it's just a little bit of, of wire and then it's so easy I mean it's just and you can do this so quickly so you take your paper clip here you put it on your circle then okay it's a red one so I'm gonna take a red flower I'm gonna put I'm gonna be generous with uh, the hot glue here because I want to make sure that it's never gonna fall off and then I am just going to press it down here onto the paper and this is going to fix my flower in place okay there it is it's over it's done and this one is quite stiff because I put some Mod Podge on it I wanted to make it a try but it the problem is that with this the flower is really stiff it's all it's really hard this one is it's probably nicer but anyway and I'm going to repeat this process to every one of them. I usually sell them by five, depending on the size of the flower. And just be careful not to put it this way because otherwise you won't be able to use your paper clip. So put this piece down and just put the glue on there. So you can put the glue directly here, but I like to put it directly on the flower. I think it's easier. That's just my way of doing it. Pressing well. And of course here I've got a non-stick mat then you open it you can play with it a little bit and then it's done so you can make a whole bunch of these and I'm gonna do just the last one here because I I think it's a lot of fun and I am going to make a lot of them for my craft fairs it's always very handy to have this for your books or magazines and again you know people really like that it's an easy gift there you go if you wanted to you could also match the color with this I'm not really gonna bother but if you could uh, if you wanted to you could use some markers and just color it very quickly so this is it for um, these ones and as an example what I usually do uh, before packaging up and I might change it because there's nothing written on here I did put some kind of um, it's all crooked though oh it's 
going off. Hmm, okay. Uh, that's because of the humidity here anyway. So I like to put what's inside of here, even though people maybe see it or not, but here you can't see the magnets. It's really well hidden behind the flower. And because I live in another country, I also have it the name in, in, um, in English and in Spanish to explain to people what it is. And here there are magnets. So I am not going to open this one, but I'm going to show you how I make them. I just, uh, let me see, I need a piece of paper for this one and I forget it, so I'm going to grab it and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I'm back and I cut a few pieces of paper out and for the example here with the paper clips, you just need a bigger piece of paper whatever size you wish and a smaller one and what you can do here is glue th <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry glue this piece of paper down there using a little bit of hot glue on both ends just a bit and glue this piece down here there you go and you make it straighter it's mine is really crooked and now you can take when it's really dry, you can take and cold, you can take your uh, paper clips and tuck them in here. And I usually try to change the colors a little bit from one to the other. And depending on the size of your packaging, you can put five, you can put six, and it also depends on the size of your flowers, of course. So here I usually do them by five. That's totally up to you. And then you do the packaging or you just make a little nice little present for as a gift for a friend. So this one is done. Now for the other one that is a magnet, this is the way I make them and it's exactly the same flowers. And here you've got two possibilities as magnets behind. So you've got these magnets that you can find in rolls. There are craft magnets. I used to use these but I think they're not very strong and if you want to put this with a you know, like I have a heavy piece of paper, like cardstock on something, it's not really going to stick to it very well. So since I found out these super, super strong magnets and they're, you can find these in any size you want. They're very, very small. They're, I'm only using these right now. Um, they're very thin. This one is only one millimeter. I don't know if you can really see it. It's really, really small, but they're very strong. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that? I mean, so if you have um, a pacemakers or things like that, be careful. Leave away your telephone uh, because it's really strong, okay? Don't play with Manix and your health, so keep them away when you don't use them. So I'm going to use these because they're very strong and you also have tiny ones and they're called Neodyne and I've got a whole bunch here and I've got bigger ones. So these are really bigger. And you've got also very, oh, what is that doing here? And you've got tiny ones. I mean, it's even smaller, okay? Can you see there's two of these here? And they're about three millimeters wide. The one I'm gonna use are, I think, five millimeters by one. I don't want them to be too thick. And oh my God, I lost them. Oh no, there they are, okay. So I'm putting this really far from myself. And I'm going to take my flowers and again use a little bit of hot glue there or if you want this to be really safe and strong I would recommend using um, some super glue like crazy glue or E6000 whatever glue you have and stick it well because hot glue the problem is that it's going to really stick to your flower because it's paper but it's not going to stick that well or at least not very long uh, on the magnet because the magnet is of course metal and it's a non-porous surface and hot glue really doesn't like that. So I'm using just hot glue right now so you just need to do a few of these like this. I think I was off camera for the first one so I'm going to do it again. A little bit of hot glue or crazy glue here. You just need a little spot for this. And then take your magnet, put it here and that's good to go. You don't need to use a big one with these. Really, really, they're so strong. Look at that. <laughs> and everything is magnified now. Even that. Okay, so then what you do, you do, I'm sorry, for uh, your presentation, 
is that you can take another piece of paper and when I use colorful colors like this I use uh, I like to use a pattern paper that is quite neutral on the back so I can see only the flowers and I'm not disturbed too much by the background this is my way to go and of course to do something different if you want to and then I'm going to use double-sided tape here I'm going to use my ATG gun and I'm going to do a slit here and I'm, I'm doubling it to make it a little wider and I try to center it and then I am just going to stick on there uh, where there they are and I'm going to stick on there some of my flowers where's the other one here and there and there you're good to go oops so again you can put as many as you wish here this is what I've done here, but that one I didn't put it in place in, in a very nice uh, baggie, so it's got a little dirty, and I'm going to do it again. So this is the way you do it, then put it in some plastic, under a plastic sheet like this. And I have a video, and I will put the link here on the top right corner. If you want to make sure, and if you want to check out how to make your own bag, plastic bags, for um, craft fairs, for example, or just to make a nice presentations as gifts, um, you can check this out too. It's a very nice one and so easy to do and so cheap because you can make them any size you want and that is it. So with the same flowers and honestly they're very cheap. The link I will put here uh, will bring you to a very cheap place on Amazon I think uh, where I got these uh, and you can do a whole bunch of them very quickly out of the time and um, I mean, okay, it's for girls, for sure, but it's really nice, and I think it's cute, and you can put these everywhere, not only in your kitchen, but also at your office. So there you go. I hope this was a faster video than I used to, but I wanted to do something nice and a little different, and because, um, sorry, because Christmas is coming, um, you might do more and more craft fairs to get a little money and also having fun because I love craft fairs. So this is an idea you can do. It's really cheap and earn a few dollars doing this. So thank you for watching. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share. See you soon. Bye bye everyone.